Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the moment of silence. Good morning, Cavaliers. Today is March 17th, 2017. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm Chris Dove. And I'm Leverett Williams. On today's show, we taste some fruits from the Soda City Market and catch up on sports. Stay tuned because Arnie TV Live starts now. Any seniors interested in applying to perform or speak at graduation, please see Ms. Bodie in E109 to pick up an application. Applications must be returned by March 31st. Rising juniors and seniors, if you would like to serve as a HOPE Chair for the 2017-2018 school year, please see Ms. Bodie in E109 for an application. Applications should be returned by March 30th. Pick yours up today. Prom is just around the corner. The thing for prom this year is Broadway. Make sure you purchase your tickets in the fees office. The cost is $75 per ticket. Junior shirts are still on sale. If you would like to purchase one, see Mr. Ramis in the fees office. Small to extra large shirts are $12, 2X are $14, and 3X are $15. The last day to order shirts is Friday, March 24th. If you travel to Main Street downtown, you will see the street filled with food, shopping, and entertainment at the Soda City Market. Arnie TV Live reporter Sydney Tisdale headed down there to get a bite of one vendor's tasty treat. She came. Enjoy it, sir. About three years ago, Colombian husband and wife Gustavo and Mary Abeso opened their stovetops and grills to a popular native street food. Mary Carebas is like a Colombian street food. We're, my wife and I were originally from Colombia and we, we came to the market like three years ago. Uh, we thought we thought that it would be a really good idea and we saw a lot of potential. Arepas are a popular Colombian street food made out of corn, flour, salt, water, cheese, butter, and milk. Oh, I think it's unique because they have, no, no one else sells these. The first time I ever had one was at the farmer's market, so I like coming back. I think it's a healthier option is the taste and, and they've been here really for a minute. In opening their vendor, the Abesos found it important to be able to spread their culture and allow their children to make some extra money. We also thought it would be a good idea for them to learn at that early age that, you know, for you to succeed, you need to work. On Saturdays, we're always going to be in Soda City. This, this, this has been our route, and I think I, it would be unfair uh, to try to just stop doing it. I think they fit in very well with the vibe. Um, there, it's a great, you know, um, Hispanic food stand among all of our other various options. So, Mary's Arepas recently opened their brick and mortar restaurant at 904 Knoxabout Drive in KC, South Carolina. You can also visit them at Columbia's downtown Soda City Market every Saturday. Reporting for RNE TV Live, I'm Sydney Tisdale. Thanks, Sydney. Head down to Soda City Market tomorrow morning from 9.30 to 1 and tell Mary you heard about their food on Arnie TV Live. Attention all students who are 16 years of age or older. The Spring Blood Drive is scheduled for Thursday, April 6. Don't forget to save the date to donate. Dodgeball intramural forms are now available in E109. Pick one up and bring them back before March 24th. The Richland County Recreation Commission is looking to hire lifeguards for this summer. For more information, email Mr. Sumter or see him in C201. Seniors, Jocelyn will be in the Science Atrium on April 6th to deliver graduation items that have been paid in full. Please go to www.RoadsGraduation to pay your balance or bring cash or money order to school with you on April 6th. If you have any questions, see Ms. Bodie in E109. On March 21st, next Tuesday, the Cavaliers have a mission. We are ending racism, one picture at a time. Please check your email and follow the scavenger hunt list and follow at RNE Stu Gov to earn points. For every picture, use the hashtag RNE Ends Racism and at RNE Stu Gov to earn points. 
Also, join us at lunch to groove to the music and show off your pictures in the courtyard. Prizes will be awarded to those who have the top three scores for posting the most pictures and videos. In celebration of Women's History Month, the Media Center is sponsoring an essay contest. Type a one-page essay on the woman who has impacted your life and how. Essay should be submitted to Ms. Brown in the Media Center no later than the end of lunch on March 31st. A $15 cash prize will be awarded to the winner. Baseball, softball, soccer, track, and tennis. These words can only mean one thing. Spring sports are in full swing. RNTV Live reporter Alex Wages is here with the new Sports 360. Good morning, Cavaliers, and welcome to this edition of Sports 360. I'm Alex Wages. On Tuesday, the boys' varsity tennis teams traveled to Westfield High School to face the Red Hawks. The boys kept the matches close, but lost 0-6. Due to inclement weather, baseball, softball, and boys' and girls' soccer games had been postponed against Westwood High School. Spring sports are still very early in their seasons. Here are a few coaches explaining their expectations for the spring season. Um, my expectations are for the girls to get more fundamentally sound so they be able to compete for positions on the varsity as they come along and just develop as a softball player and understand the mental and physical aspects of the game. This year our, our expectation level is a little bit higher because we've been together now for all, over a year. My expectations for the season are to make the routine plays. Uh, hit the baseball and catch and throw the baseball, just the fundamentals. Moving into a new region, uh, our expectations are that we're going to compete for a region championship. Good luck on the rest of your seasons. Last Saturday, Richmond Northeast hosted its annual Armed Forces Cavalier Relays with 18 schools participating in it. So this past week, we had a good meet. We had two first places. We had one in the 4x2 and we had one in the sprint medley, which is the 100, 100. 400. Team did very well. Uh, this Saturday we had uh, 17 schools, 18 total, making us uh, approximately a thousand athletes were out here. Um, it was a good event. I believe our, our boys placed pretty well. The next track meet for the Cavaliers is tomorrow at Dutch Fork High School. Some soccer players just play for the fun, but others have a passion for the sport. Reporter Henry Horbeck uncovers a player who is passionate about the sport. The Richland Northeast soccer team is one of the most diverse groups of athletes the school has to offer. Junior Eduardo Amador is a key player on the team. Um, soccer has been very important. It's the one way to uh, make me really stress my, um, release my stress. Soccer has been, you know, one of the passions. It's not, people think it's just a game or anything, but you know, it's, it's passion. It's a lot of life to it. You know, you get to spend a lot of time with your friends, pass the ball, you know, sometimes people break some ankles, you know, and it's just funny. Without any experience, Eduardo jumped onto the team and hasn't looked back since. I never played for a team or a school to actually. Um, it's the first year that I played for a varsity, and the only reason why I played with, um, this year is because my friends. My friends were the only ones that actually motivated me. They were like, hey, let's go ahead and you know, try it out. Eduardo Amador is a well-known figure on the campus of Richland Northeast, but only a few know how he got here. I, I passed through the border. Um, I, walked through, I walked through the desert. Um, you know, we have people that you know, transport other immigrants. And I guess we ended up in South Carolina. Yeah, I feel different because sometimes I feel that, you know, they have more opportunities than I do. Like, for example, work. They can work and they don't want to take advantage of it. Eduardo appreciates the opportunity he has and plans to take full advantage of it. And if it's possible, I, um, I can go to college. But mostly, you know, I'm trying to finish um, high school, at least something. Something that my parents couldn't do, especially my mom, since she couldn't, you know, go to school. But I'm trying to, you know, make her happy, trying to finish school, and end up somewhere in life. Reporting for Arnie TV Live, I'm Henry Hallback. Thanks, Henry. You can catch girls and boys soccer in action on Tuesday when they take on the Ridgeview Blazers. Well, that's it for this edition of Sports 360. Reporting for Arnie TV Live, I'm Alex Wages. Thanks, Alex. Check us out on Twitter for more sports updates at Arnie Saber. That's all we have for you today, Cavaliers. Reporting for Arnie TV Live, I'm Leverett Williams. And I'm Chris Dove. Have a great weekend.